we've seen a lot on the table uh, thus far in our fourth turning, um, I think uh, very poor economic performance and profound dissatisfaction with how, to the extent that we have had economic performance, rising living standards, how that, how that, uh, how that advantage has been distributed, you know, just equality questions. Um, uh, and we've seen a tremendous uh, awareness of kind of partisan paralysis and civic discord in this country. Uh, uh, these are two of the big hallmarks of the crisis of the fourth turning, right? Sort of economic crisis and financial crisis uh, and the possibility of civil war, which by the way, uh, 10 years ago was not even on the radar screen. People weren't even surveying that. It wasn't a poll question. It wasn't anything, right? And now you see it's the subject of about three or four or five recent books, <laughs> including you know, fictional narratives of how the you know, American Civil War is gonna turn out. Uh, and a uh, 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 sizable percentage of Americans saying, you know, it's maybe better that we seceded. Uh, I don't actually think that's practically possible. I don't think that's actually will be a peaceful scenario for reasons we can investigate if you want, but I think we're gonna talk more about Ukraine this time. Um, but these, are, these have been on the table, right? Sort of the possibility of economic crisis and the, and the possibility of civil discord leading into real conflict. Uh, finally, now we have the third, and that is uh, geopolitical conflict and war between major powers. Now, just suddenly that's on the table. The two parties are at this point, I think I consider leaderless. Um, I consider uh, uh, Joe Biden basically to be a lame duck president, I, I, realistically. I mean, I, I live in Washington and I hear everyone talk and so on. I, I, I realistically don't think he's going to run again. Um, and, uh, and no one really terribly much cares for the, for the current, you know, Kamala Harris, the current vice president. Uh, so they're kind of a leaderless party at this point. And they're, they're very definitely divided between their moderates and their, you know, their progressives. Uh, and then you have the Republican Party, which is in an equal state of, you might say, disarray. Uh, the party itself very divided about uh, the Trump versus no Trump faction, right? Uh, you're right, we're, we're leaderless in that sense. And um, uh, I do expect, I think, you know, I think it's more clear than ever that uh, this will be a divided Congress at the very least, uh, maybe an entirely Republican Congress come uh, the end of this year, uh, in which case we have two years of almost a leader, leaderless government in the sense of a divided government. Hey there, Hedgei Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgei Nation, thanks for watching Hedgei on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there, subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.